In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you the chords in the key of D. So the first chord in the key of D is going to be our D chord. So just like the chords in the key of G that we went over before, where we had the ring finger and the pinky finger kind of serving as the foundation and the the base for all of those chord changes. We're going to be using this, keeping your uh, ring finger on that B string on the third fret, and that's going to be our foundation for chords in the key of D. So let me walk you through the chords. I'm going to show you um, diagrams on the screen, a breakdown of where each finger is for each chord. So uh, we'll start off with the D chord. So we have our pointer finger on the uh, G string. So the third string from the bottom on that second fret. And then, like I said, we have the ring finger kind of serving as our anchor. Uh, that's on the B string. So the second string from the bottom on the third fret. And usually when I'm playing in the key of D, I keep this high E string open. I don't, I don't, you know, do that D there. You can do it for sure, but I've just always done it this way. I think it sounds a little bit better in, in most of the songs doing it this way. So, um, so this is your, your D chord. For this chord, we want to make sure we're strumming only the bottom four strings. The next chord is going to be the G chord. So we're keeping our D formation right here and we're just going to bring that uh, middle finger up to the low E string on the third fret and that's going to be the G you know you can also do this G but I just think for most songs again when I'm playing in the key of D this this G chord sounds the best and for this one you strum all six strings so keeping this shape here we go to an A over C sharp um, which is going to be a little bit tricky. So we're keeping our D, we're bringing our uh, pinky finger up to that A string, the second string from the top on the uh, fourth fret. So it's a really nice chord. I don't really use it a lot. It's not used a whole ton uh, when you're playing chords in the key of D, but it is in the D family. So for this chord, you would just want to strum the bottom five strings. So then we'll go to the D over F sharp. We'll keep our uh, D form here and we'll just wrap that thumb on the second fret and strum all six strings. Uh, there's also, let's see, uh, an, an A chord. So we'll do... Uh, this A, now we're keeping that ring finger on there, and we're putting the middle finger on the second fret, third string from the bottom, and then we're putting the pointer finger on the, uh, let's see, the G string, which or the D string, which is gonna be the fourth one from the bottom. That's gonna be our A chord. So that'll be, a, technically it's called an A sus, but um, you'll strum the bottom five strings for that one. You know, you can also do this full A, you want to but again when I'm playing in the key of D these chords are just so easy to switch to um, and I think it sounds pretty good with that form of an A so then the next chord is our B minor chord uh, we're just gonna keep everything here on this A and just move the pointer finger up one string so now that pointer fingers on the second string from the top on the second fret we strum the bottom five strings. So this is much easier than doing this bar chord, especially when you're doing a rhythm acoustic. So I play this one a lot. Uh, sometimes we will need an E minor uh, when we're playing in the key of D. Um, so we'll just, we'll keep our, our ring finger there and we'll just kind of do our regular E minor form as if we were playing in the key of G and I usually take my pinky finger off and keep that high E string open when I'm playing that E minor but you can do um, either one 
And then sometimes you'll see an F sharp minor in the in uh, the chords in the key of D. So you can do it like this. Um, so we have on the fourth fret the uh, ring finger on the second string from the top, and then we have the pinky tucked underneath that one third string from the top. And then we have the pointer finger on the third string from the bottom, that G string. And then we have our thumb up here wrapped on that top string on the second fret, kind of giving it that F. It's definitely a really nice chord, really full sounding chord. You'll strum all six strings. When you're playing chords in the key of D, you know, you're just going from your D to the G to the A. Sometimes it is, you know, you've got to you've got to move all of your fingers off the strings and get to this F sharp minor. So sometimes what you can do uh, is is just get into your A position here. That A chord we, we talked about. And then just wrap your thumb on that second fret. And then that's, you could do that for an F sharp minor. Or if you wanted to even take your ring finger off, you could do that, but that would be fine. Keeping that ring finger as the anchor there. So those are the main chords in the key of D that I use and that you will find uh, when playing uh, not only just worship music, but, but really any type of guitar. So the G, or the D, G, A over C sharp minor, A, B minor, D over F sharp, E minor, and F sharp minor. So a couple of other things you'll want to just maybe refresh yourself on if you're just learning these chords. Um, number one is just make sure you're strumming the right string. So I went over that briefly in this lesson, but not super in depth. So I've got a lesson I've done on which strings you should be strumming when you're playing in the key of D. Um, I'll link that up top and put that in the video description on the bottom, but that's going to be really important because you, you don't want to have your your fingers in the right place for the right chord and it sound like that did not sound good because you're strumming the wrong string. So you don't want to be strumming all the strings for every single chord. It's all going to depend on the bass note of the chord. So just, just remember that. It could be very frustrating because you could have your fingers exactly where they need to be. You've got each string held down, but it sounds just off. You're just, you're, you shouldn't be strumming all the strings on every chord. So, so that would be one thing. Another thing I would do, um, I've done a lesson on how using the capo changes the key of the actual song. So really we can use these D chords. Um, on different cape on different frets and that changes the key of the song so if you need to get to the key of E you can play these D chords in with capo on the second fret if you wanted to get to the key of F you could get to the key of F capo on the third fret playing these D shapes so I'll link that lesson I do um, I'll put that in the description as well but I think this will be a really good foundational lesson um, for those chords in the key of D. So if you have questions or need anything, definitely leave a comment. Let me know. I uh, love y'all. I'll see you soon.